during the pandemic, I was talking to this guy, Greg Fleischman. He's the CEO of Foodsters. It's a, um, like a, well, they were, at the time, they were primarily making baking mixes. You find them at Whole Foods. Uh-huh. Sarah Michelle Geller is a co-founder. And they were preparing for years or a year or something to launch this wholly new line of business. They were gonna, they were gonna release ready to eat baked goods, or boxes of cookies mm, and yeah. whatever, right? And, um, and then the pandemic came along and it completely altered people's buying habits. And suddenly uh, uh, sales to sweet baked, or sales to bags of cookies or whatever dropped and baking mixes spiked because people were stuck at home and they had nothing better to do. So now foodsters who had been preparing for a long time, rethinking the business and the way that they're gonna approach consumers and they were so excited, they, they, were really, they were like, oh my God, this is not the time for that anymore. And they had to make this change. They decided to scrap, scrap this new line of business and go back to the old one. And I asked Greg, was that a bummer? And he said, no, because it goes back to why, this is what he said to me. He said, it goes back to why you start a business in the first place. And our goal, our mission is to bring joy to people with sweet baked goods. That's what it's all about. Bring joy to people with sweet baked goods. And you know, he just casually tosses this off, but I, I, I thought to myself, you know, something really important has happened here, which is that he has identified a mission for himself and his company that is deeper than any individual change. Bring joy to people. It doesn't have to be with baking mixes. It doesn't have to be with a bag of cookies. It can be anything, mm-hmm. right? And then I realized, you know, you, you, you could do that yourself. There's something that we all can do individually to define ourselves in a way in which we have an identity that does not change even when change comes. 